Kung ang sign lang sana between the given two terms ay multiplication sign, katulad ng ganito, multiplication sign, we can readily apply the product of two powers having the same base. The same base of A. So simply add the exponent m and n. So that becomes n plus n. Kaso ang problema natin ay plus sign to, hindi multiplication sign. Kahit na negative sign siya, hindi mo rin pwedeng i-apply yung product of two powers with the same base. So we will need a little trick para masimplify itong problem na ito. So here is the trick. Kung mapapansin natin may dalawang terms sa left-hand part ng equation with the same base of 3. So the key there is to make it a single term using factoring. Moving on, kung ating i-analyze ang left-hand member of the equation, pwede natin kunin ang kanyang factors using highest common monomial factor. So ang equation nito ay may common factor na 3 raised to x plus 3. So then therefore, we can now apply the quotient of two powers having the same base of A, wherein the exponent should be the difference between them, wherein this is only applicable kapag pareho sila ng base. So what we will do is simply subtract the exponent m and n. So we have 3 raised to x plus 3 divided by 3 raised to x plus 3, the answer should be 1. And then copy the plus sign here. And then 3 raised to x plus 6 divided by 3 raised to x plus 3. So the answer is 3 raised to cube. Okay, just simply subtract 6 minus 3. So we have 3. Equal to 28. Then simplifying the left-hand member. So we have 3 raised to x plus 3. So we have 1 plus 3 raised to cube is 27. Is equal to 28. And then simplify, so we have uh, 3 raised to x plus 3, 1 plus 27 is equal to 28. Then the right-hand member is also the same as 28. Now if you take a look at the equation now, we have 28 here, we have 28 there. So we will divide both sides by 28. So this becomes 3 raised to x plus 3 divided by 28, so this is equivalent to 1. Now we have a new equation. Now, how do we solve for x here? So, what we will do is to transform 1 with the same base of 3, wherein the equivalent should be 1. What about applying this formula, the zero exponent rule, wherein any number raised to 0 is equivalent to 1? So, gawin natin dito. Okay? So, we have 3 raised to x plus 3. 1 is the same as 3 raised to 0. Kasi any number being raised to 0 is simply 1. Now, if you take a look at the equation now, we have the same base of 3. Now, we can readily apply the exponential equation with the same base, wherein a raised to m is equal to a raised to n if and only if m is equal to n. Now, if we analyze, we have the same base of 3 here. Pwede natin apply ito. Pwede natin cancel yung 3 dito and 3 dyan. So, the remaining term would be x plus 3 and that's to be equated to 0. Then, solving for x now, transpose positive 3 on the other side. So, the answer would be x equal to negative 3. So, that would be the final answer.